bullish developments on the liquidation levels. Same like on Bitcoin, we see here a rounding bottom. The market structure overall is about to flip here. Bitcoin has finally confirmed a new established uptrend and I will show you today what we can expect from that. Let's go. Guys, today we are not wasting too much time here because I have actually to go in a bit uh, to meet a friend that I actually never met in person. So, but I know him for quite a couple of years. So I'm really, really excited to see him. Uh, let's directly jump into today's uh, content here. Uh, we start off with the CME gaps, this CME chart. For one second, it slipped my mind. Crazy guys. Uh, so CME closed yesterday quite high at $62,720. And if we would open at the current levels, most likely we would get a really small CME gap below current price on the CME chart where we closed on Friday, uh, which would mean uh, that price action will go up to $62,700, close the CME gap. From there, we need to reassess the situation. But uh, most likely what's going to happen by tomorrow is that we are either opening way higher than we closed on Friday or that we don't have a CME gap at all. That's what I'm seeing here happening. I don't believe that we will be much, much lower uh, from a current level. So now, while well, Bitcoin is going up since yesterday, I was again interested to see from where this move actually is coming and was going here to CoinGlass uh, to see if this is leverage driven or if this is uh, spot driven. And unfortunately, retail is still not here, guys. Retail is not here because spot is still in decline while leverage was going up here. Of course, when we got yesterday that small flush uh, or a couple of days ago, that small flush to the downside, leverage got also a little bit flush. And overall, uh, the funding rates are still kind of okay. They are not extremely high. They are not extremely low. They are at a more or less neutral level uh, currently. But you should not forget that Bitcoin's current run is fueled by leverage and not by spot volume, which we actually want to see returning uh, back into the market. Uh, when we're going then to the daily chart, we got now confirmation for our really uh, for a nice bounce here back to the upside. We are currently at 62200 and $25. I expect here further continuation uh, to the upside, at least into the mid-range level here to $65,300 by the latest um, of next Wednesday. When we're going into the 12-hourly chart, also here we see continuation uh, candles being printed. We uh, had here now um, a free white soldiers pattern or in the process of forming a free white soldiers pattern with the new 12 hourly candle that just opened here roughly an hour ago. Remember what I said? I said when we get into this void here, most likely price will move really quickly up to around $63,000 all the way up here. Also close the imbalance in this candle. Um, and from there, most likely we're going to get a small um, rejection before we see further continuation to the upside. Now the indicators are also pointing more or less to the same thing. I don't really like how the stochastic RSI is looking here. Um, usually I would prefer to see this in a sharper angle um, pointing to the upside, which is right now not the case, but the MACD uh, is here pretty bullish. The RSI is slightly going up, and not, not, not a lot. So I would like to see here definitely uh, some more follow through with a move above $63,000 into the next big resistance cluster here on the VPVR all the way up here um, almost yeah going up to $64,815. Then uh, now here on the daily chart the uh, you're asking yourself most likely okay from where does uh, this uptrend come? How is this established? And you see here an uptrend is established by creating a higher low, a higher high, a higher low, a higher high and this is what we are seeing here right now. Look at this here, our higher low compared to this low. Then we have a higher high compared to this high. Then we have now another higher low compared to this low. Now we are potentially continuing to go to the upside to create an, a higher high on this local market structure. The uh, market structure overall is about to flip here uh, bullish. 
But to flip it completely bullish, uh, we need to get above $70,000 and break this high here. Regardless, the downtrend in this area here is already broken by the simple fact that we created here on the on the local structure uh, this higher high. But uh, for the uh, macro structure um, shift change, we need a break above the $70,000 um, dollar mark. But I'm pretty confident that we are going to get this really, really, really soon, guys. Now on the four hourly chart, if you're looking for a trade setup, remember what I told you. I was expecting that we move above um, the downwards trend line here coming from the MDX algo gradient and that most likely price is ramping up uh, to move here higher. You see now we have here um, the start of the red-ish uh, candles uh, to come, come back here, which means price is now starting to heat up to move higher. And from here at some point we are going to get a small um, then um, cooldown phase again before we continue to go uh, into way, way, way um, higher price levels than we are currently set, setting, uh, sitting in. Um, here with the MDX algo um, color uh, uh, scalp gradient. Now, where would I enter my next Bitcoin position, scalp position? Uh, I have to mention that, scalp position. Most likely over here with a really tight stop loss. Something like this here. So a 3 point, almost 6% move to the upside uh, with a 1.33% stop loss. Uh, entering at $62,700, only if you get a one hourly close, uh, a 30 minute close, sorry, 30 minute close above that level, I would enter this um, because here, the top section, there is a lot of resistance, hence why I would have my take profit level um, all the way up here and not anywhere lower than that. Uh, should you go in there with like 50x? No, I would not recommend that. Um, I would personally use up to 20, 25x on this trade and not more. Because remember, it's a scalp trade, so there we can use higher leverage but smaller amounts of money. Don't go crazy uh, with your position size on a trade like that. And don't forget, guys, if you want to trade with us together, and then join the, the squad that we have created here uh, on a Bybit for the World Series of Traders uh, to win potentially $10 million uh, together. You still have over four days to join the team. The only thing that you need is a Bybit account and I think $100, $250 in the account uh, to be able to join. A link for that is in the pin coin below and in the um, description of this video. And you should also not forget, if you uh, have not yet a Bybit account and you open a Bybit account with this link for the free uh, $500 airdrop position, you deposit $100, you get a free $500 airdrop position on any of these coins that are down below here. Again, guys, liquidity is everything. If you don't have so much money right now, this is one of the uh, best options right now um, out there to get free money from exchanges that you can trade with and you keep all the profits that you make out of these $500. Again, deposit $100 claim the airdrop voucher, use the airdrop voucher, take profits, it's all yours, and then join afterwards the World Series of Traders team where we will make a lot of money together. Uh, shit, I've again now by accident closed the Telegram chat. Let me see here. Uh, da, 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 da. I want to show it to you guys. So here is the new AM Crypto Telegram chat um, channel, basically. There's also a link under the video, look here, uh, I want to go to yesterday to show you. So here, yesterday, we called render, as you can see, and then a couple hours later, we were already over 20% in profit. It's now way, way higher than that. Then we called also uh, Rune here. Sorry, there's a lot of chat um, in that channel. Uh, here also Rune. Yeah, Rune, when we when we called it, the other one was Render. Uh, Rune is still running. So, and we keep putting calls in there for the World Series of Traders, guys. So, if you want to make money with us together, together, that is the place to be right now. You need to get into this Telegram channel. So, now when we go back to Bitcoin, uh, to the four hourly chart, here also bullish uh, developments on the liquidation levels. We are trying to break above the EMA ribbon here. Uh, the top is sitting at $62,500. Remember guys, I expect here a retest of the 50 moving average with a small consolidation phase uh, before we break here into higher levels. 
uh, regardless of the um, over leverage short positions that we are going to take out when we are getting this move. But uh, a bigger move here into uh, much more substantial key resistance levels will happen at a later stage. Do I believe that we will come back to the 200 moving average here at any given moment on the four hourly chart? Currently at these price levels, I don't think so that we are going to see that. And now on the liquidation heat map, also here, you see the highest concentrated areas. They are currently sitting all above us. Here is a little bit at close to $60,000. But again, um, I believe that we are not going back into these lower levels. Um, there is, of course, a really, really tiny probability that we still come back there. But um, it's it's almost zero um, that it's going to happen then uh, the total market cap bouncing uh, bounced off here the 587 billion dollars exactly as we were expecting it uh, now we are close to 600 billion again the crypto market overall had a nice bounce um, in general um, over the last 48 hours and i'm going to show you in a moment some altcoins that we need to watch right now because again most of them are in alignment in terms of how they are setting up for a massive move to the upside and you want to know which ones that are currently that you can still get in with uh, and not getting left behind on the next potential move here because also the Bitcoin dominance is now slightly coming back down. Um, again, if Bitcoin makes a substantial move to the upside, uh, expect that we get a bounce here um, into higher levels to 59-60%. Uh, the only way that this would be different is if now altcoins... Um, start massively massively rallying and a lot of people get bored uh, holding bitcoin and um, chasing gains in altcoins and then we see something like this here happening but i think it's still too early for that it's still a little bit too early and if you want to trade altcoins because you cannot use bybit for some weird reason or binance uh, then use zoomx they don't have any kyc can use them without any vpn and plus if you sign up there and deposit hundred dollars you stand a chance to win two times per week five hundred dollars we just gave five hundred dollars yesterday again away um, the user will get will be credited i think on monday or tuesday so um, have a little bit patient um, patience there uh, we saw you we forwarded it to zoomx they're aware of it um, and they're going to do it on monday or tuesday so amazing exchange guys um, again i'm going to open here after the weekend a really really big trade on zoomx so you want to have an account there to trade with me together and when we're going into ethereum here also we see a nice reversal currently um, same like on Bitcoin, we see here a rounding bottom formation, uh, most likely with the first target, uh, $2,500, um, breaking back into this resistance area that was formerly support. Uh, the indicators are also in alignment for that, uh, that we should get a move into this level here with the MACD losing momentum um, and printing soon a buy signal, RSI going up, stochastic RSI going up, and the big resistance level um, that we really shouldn't focus on is still this downward sloping trend line because once that is broken uh, it will open up the level uh, to go here straight to three thousand dollars one of the altcoins uh, that we are still trading is rune you would be still not too late to enter this currently but if we get here let's say a move to four dollar ninety five there would not currently enter anymore anymore but uh, current price levels are definitely still okay if you want to get in there we are about to break above the ema ribbon here um on the top side on 12 hourly chart once we're breaking above that um, we will get a really quick move uh, in direction of five dollars and 23 cents again indicators are really really bullish here only the Mac, uh, the stochastic is losing a little bit momentum uh, but this is due to the fact that we just started this for our uh, this 12 hourly candle and the previous candle was rejected from the top side of the ema ribbon but uh, once we are reclaiming uh, here the um, the upper end of the ema ribbon expect a really quick move into um, the five dollar level and potentially even higher than that and then one of the coins that you should also have your eyes on is currently link we have broken above the 50 moving average on the daily chart um, we uh, got su uh, found support in this underlying demand area uh, visualized from the mdx algo suite and now the imminent and most probable target here to the upside would be the 200 moving average to retest um, this once we're above the 200 moving average expect also here a golden cross most likely happening at some point uh, in the next four weeks which will put link close to 20 dollars in my opinion which is 
um, a 100%, close to 100% move to the upside. So if you want to uh, have your long-term play on low leverage, uh, Link is one of the coins that you can definitely get into because look here, the MACD basically showing us that the whole downwards move was a fake out, uh, at least for Link. Stochastic already put a buy signal in, RSI nicely going to the upside. Plus, if I pull here um, the Fibonacci from top to bottom, then also you see here the next target would be $12.80, really close to the 200 moving average here. Um, so maybe take there some profit around uh, the golden ratio and uh, ride the rest into the 200 moving average. And then uh, we're going to see uh, if we close the position up there or if we break above it and uh, ride it uh, for continuation into way way um, higher levels. Then the next one is uh, optimism. Optimism also uh, riding right now above the two, the 50 moving average and has broken above uh, this resistance level here of uh, one dollar and um, sixty two cents. Also here the 200 moving average is the next imminent target. You see here the indicators are um, printing the same um, scheme around. Uh, most of the altcoins um, link was the same I think the next one that I'm going to show you afterwards is the same on, on the daily charts so these are uh, really really good long term entries if you want to build big positions guys these are the entries that you want uh, where you can currently enter I would not wait for a pullback to like a dollar sixty or something like that uh, current levels are good to enter here and to take advantage of your move into $2.10 and potentially even higher than that. I believe um, Optimism was going down here for quite a substantial time now, basically since April. So also here, I would be not surprised if we see a really quick move uh, in the next four weeks back to close to $3, uh, which is almost a 100% move here uh, to the upside. Now, put some leverage on that 5, 6, 7x. Uh, we are talking here then also um, on 5 to 7x return on the initial capital, of course, with a proper stop loss here at $1.40 um, if you would enter this on um, some lower leverage. Another platform that we are also still currently working with is Tapit, guys. Um, also really good. If you sign up there, you actually uh, get for signing up immediately, I think, like $20. So you are ah, here. There, there we go, guys. There we go. If you deposit $100, you get immediately $100 which is really, really nice. You can trade with that immediately and uh, you get up to $5,000 depending on how much volume you are creating on Tappet. A link for that is also in the description below and in the pin comment below, guys. Um, take advantage of that because I don't know when they are going to change that, that you get basically $100 for free just for depositing $100 on that platform. Uh, then the next one is RSR. Uh, a coin that I did not talk for a long time um, about actually. Here you see more or less the same thing. The only difference is we are much closer here to a golden cross and RSR can make crazy moves here uh, on the daily chart. Look at this here on candles like this, candles like this. So this is nothing out of the ordinary for RSR. Um, I have definitely my eyes on that because we're trading already above the 200 moving average here and I'm looking to enter this um, basically yeah, at current levels. At current levels, I'm going to open um, after this video a trade on RSR uh, and my First target will be nine uh, here, 0 .000, 0 0.009. That is, um, so almost one cent will be my target here. Uh, in terms of return, I have to actually look at this. We're talking about a 36% move to the downside. The 50 moving average uh, will be my stop loss. So, and the 50 moving average is how much percent below current price. So it's a 9% uh, stop loss. So I will not use more than 4 to 5x on, a, on a, trade a trade like that, which is absolutely fine because, again, the indicators are overall um, showing a lot of bullish momentum here. But the stochastic on the weekly is looking a little bit ugly, to be honest. But uh, regardless, I, I think we, we can reach here again almost a cent before we see a deeper pullback for RSR because this dev cross here looks now like a massive fake out you know, with um, the turnaround of the 50 moving average now printing another uh, golden cross. Then uh, Coty. Coty is one that I'm actually, before this video will be published, share in the Telegram group. And just for um, explanation, when you, you see this video, uh, I have shared this trade already in the Telegram group. That's why it's important that you're in there. I wanted to share that um, 
actually for most of the day, but had no time for it. So I just going to do it right after I um, finish recording this video. And when you see this video, it, it will be not still, it will be not too late for you guys. It will be not too late for you to enter this. And I'm going to explain you now why, because uh, we are still fighting here with the 50 moving average on the daily chart. Um, I would like to see here some confirmation uh, that we close above the 50 moving average here. Um, at current levels, I would be fine with that because uh, we are flatlining on a stochastic RSI. MACD is losing momentum here on the bearish side, uh, returning back into um, buying pressure. And the RSI is slightly going up, but also a little bit sideways. Uh, but overall, uh, here also, a golden cross is more or less imminent here over the next, let's say, two weeks, I think. Yes, by the end of the month. So yeah, in a little bit more than, than two weeks, we should have a golden cross here if we keep this trajectory and if price can hold above the 50 moving average. So how do I going? Uh, how am I going to enter this? Uh, if we close today above the 50 moving average, then this will be my trade setup for uh, Coty, 30% to the upside, 7.73% stop loss. So here I'm going to trade this with like, six maybe seven x not more uh, i think it's worth the risk uh, with that kind of return but only if we close above the 50 moving average and trust me guys the higher we go the more i am going to adjust my my stop loss to make sure that at some point uh, the trade is risk-free and i still have the same return um, on the table and potentially even increase my leverage uh, but all these things will be posted live in the Telegram channel. So again, guys, make sure that you are in there. Then uh, Solana, Solana trying to break into this resistance area here of $144 to $147. Trade that was given a couple of days ago is doing really, really well. Indicators here on the 4-hourly chart, tremendously bullish. Um, the stochastic is here a little bit flatlining um, on the upside. But, but guys, because the MACD is showing a lot of strength here with only printing uh, darker green candles, which shows that a lot of uh, buying momentum is here currently uh, in Solana and the RSI is still going up. Um, this can be ignored and we follow price action. So here I would be not surprised to see a move, another candle to the upside to like $147, then a small consolidation within that zone before we then um, break into higher levels uh, in direction of $155. So if you're currently not in Solana, you want to wait for that break here to $147 and that pullback and enter on that pullback and then trade this into $155 and potentially even higher than that. And guys, that's it already for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, smash up the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and I hope to see you with more money tomorrow.